This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 1556. How to Take Charge of Your Motivation, part two, by Roger Lawson of rogelawfitness.com, and I'm Dr. Neil. Hey there, welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, or welcome for the first time if you're new here. This is the podcast where I act as your very own personal narrator and read to you from some of the most popular health and fitness blogs online. For a lot more blogs being narrated for you, check out Optimal Living Daily. You can search and find that podcast wherever you're listening to this. Now, today's episode is part two of a longer post. If you missed part one, then I recommend going back and listening to part one first. That's episode 1555. But if you're all caught up, let's jump right in and get to part two and continue optimizing your life. How to Take Charge of Your Motivation, part two by Roger Lawson of rogelawfitness.com. Pass the Vanilla Ice Test. In the mid-90s, rapper Vanilla Ice was allegedly held upside down over a balcony by a record executive who threatened to drop him unless he came up with a few million dollars. True or not, this actually has a lot to do with finding your own motivation. And if you don't know who Vanilla Ice is, I'm not sure if I feel sad for your soul or jealous that I'll never again be as pure and innocent as you are right now. When it comes to our goals, we often have what's considered a base reason. We want to get in shape, be strong, lose some weight, feel good, be healthy, or a host of other generic answers. Many times our analysis of what we want goes no further than this, and because of it, we set our chances of success incredibly low right from the start. Put yourself in ice's shoes. Imagine someone holding you over a balcony, ready to drop you, unless you had told them why you want to achieve your goals. Do you think you'd give them some of the baseline answers from above? If so, think again, because it's a long way down. Friedrich Nietzsche said that he who has a strong enough why can bear any how. This is critical, as you'll undoubtedly encounter resistance and setbacks along the way to achieving anything worthwhile. If your why isn't built on a solid foundation of personal meaning on an emotional level, it becomes far easier to abandon your goal whenever difficulties arise. Your why will serve as the kindle for your fire during times of doubt. Do you want to feel more confident and comfortable in your own skin? Do you want to be able to play with your children as much as their little hearts desire? Do you want to stay healthy so as not to end up like a loved one who died far too soon due to not taking care of themselves? We can't answer this question for you. It's up to you to fill in the blank. As long as your reasons are true to yourself and get you absolutely excited about pursuing your goal, resonating with something deep inside of yourself, you've passed the test. Action precedes motivation. I wanted to leave you with this idea. When was the last time you felt motivated? When was the last time you had that aha moment or spark to get going, only to have it fade away within a day or two? It feels extremely easy to act when we are motivated, but it's fairly difficult to act when we're not. So how do we combat this? It's worth stating that you're never going to be completely motivated all the time. If you are, we'd like some of your secret sauce. The main thing that separates those who get stuff done and those who don't are the ones who don't rely on motivation to act. So, even if you don't feel like doing something, it's better to act out of knowing what you want your outcome to look like rather than waiting for more motivation. Use past mistakes to fuel future success. If this is your first foray into pursuing a fitness or health goal, We envy you. You're about to learn a ton about yourself in the process. If you've been around the block a few times and still haven't achieved what you're looking for, chances are you've encountered the same personal roadblocks over and over again. Instead of viewing these mistakes as failures that offer you nothing, change your perspective and see them for what they are, ways that simply didn't work. By knowing what doesn't work, it frees you up to learn from them and focus on finding ways that do. You can also reach out to people who've accomplished what you're looking to do and ask them what pitfalls they encountered along the way. It may seem intimidating at first, but odds are they'll be more than willing to help someone who is in a position that they themselves were once in. When you're in uncharted goal territory, it helps to have a partial roadmap pieced together from both your personal experiences and those of others who have been successful. As you get better at bouncing back and wiser from your setbacks, jumping into the fray once again, the process becomes more enjoyable. Refine your course as necessary and let the process itself, not the reward you seek, become its own reward. With this mindset firmly in place, it's not a matter of if you'll reach your goal, 
but when. Quote, success is stumbling from failure to failure with no loss of enthusiasm. Winston Churchill. You just listened to part two of the post titled How to Take Charge of Your Motivation by Roger Lawson of rogelawfitness.com. Now, we're here to optimize our health. Listening to these articles is important, but getting personalized help can be a game changer. In the past, it's been difficult to get a clear picture of what our bodies look like on the inside or how to measure what choices are helping and hurting. That's what Inside Tracker was designed to solve. Inside Tracker was founded in 2009 by leading scientists in aging, genetics, and biometrics from MIT, Tufts, and Harvard. Using their patented algorithm, Inside Tracker analyzes your body's data to provide you with a clear picture of what's going on inside you and to offer you science backed recommendations for positive diet and lifestyle changes. Then, Inside Tracker tracks your progress every day to help you reach your performance goals and live a longer, healthier life. Now, for a limited time, you can get 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Go to insidetracker.com slash OHD to get your discount code and to start using Inside Tracker today. That's insidetracker.com slash OHD for 25% off the entire Inside Tracker store. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. I often find myself saying this to folks. Focus on the process, not perfection. Your path to optimal health and wellness is a process. Focusing on just the goal is not actually doing yourself any favors. But think of it as a learning experience. We're all gonna stumble along the way. I have many times myself. We're not perfect, but that's okay. Because I guarantee you're gonna learn so much about yourself and likely those lessons you'll be able to apply to all other areas of your life. You may not believe me right now, but learning from failures in the gym or with your workout translate to learning more about yourself and applying that to your work, your school or study habits. You can even apply it to your relationships. We all want to, of course, reach our goals, but focus on the process along the way. Think about how you're growing as a person as you work towards that goal. And when you do stumble and when you start to lose that motivation, stop and ask yourself, Why am I doing this in the first place? If you do that and write it down, I guarantee you'll be back on track in no time. All right, and that's it for today. I hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll be back here tomorrow as usual, so I'll see you there where your optimal life awaits.